Allen Historic Theater in Placer County has now canceled its upcoming performances after part of the ceiling came crashing down. The Auburn State Theater is nearly 100 years old. CBS 13's Tori Abadaka is there live with the work underway to raise the curtain once more. It's a beautiful building, Tori. Yeah, from outside, you can't see all this damage of that historic theater, but inside, it's a different story. Now, all of those shows you see posted on that marquee are canceled, and the theater is asking for the community support to help make these critical repairs. The theater's like a jewel downtown. A jewel that's been standing here since the 1930s, built to help the community during the Great Depression. It's a very special place, and it's always full. It's taken care of. On Friday morning, theater volunteers noticed some dust on the red seats. They closed the auditorium and postponed weekend shows. Then, fast forward to Tuesday. That little pile of dust became uh, a big chunk of the ceiling. Patrick Storm with the Auburn State Theater says the plaster ceiling inside separated from the wood lath, collapsing onto the seats. And at this point, do you know what caused it? You know, we can't speculate on that. We know we've had a lot of rain, so anything can happen in an old building. It has a new roof, but I'm sure the insides and the guts of the building, the roof just needed to go. Donna Ars has lived in Auburn for 36 years and has seen countless live plays, musicians, and films in the theater. We are not just running the theater, we are the stewards of this historic property. Storm is asking the community to rally behind the theater in its big day of giving fundraiser, lasting April 20th through May 4th. It's a tragedy for us, but we're, we're fighting back from this and we will be here. So it's, it's not going to put us down. Until then, the curtains will stay closed and the lights off. The community always sticks together. They'll come together if they need money. They'll raise money and it'll all be repaired and it'll all be taken care of. Arse, just thankful no one was hurt. They knew to shut the theater down to keep everybody safe. That's a pretty big guardian angel. And in this building, there was also a radio station, and we spoke with someone from there who said that they worked remotely today just to be safe, and there still is no exact timeline as to when this theater will be reopened. But if you want more details on that fundraiser that begins tomorrow, we'll have that on our website under this story.